those of you who are watching the stream or not watching the stream, <laughs> whatever the case may be, uh, I think we've got it fixed. Just hang on a second. I'm going to drop a quick message into our TeamSpeak here. Connected. Sorry again, folks. We User thought entered your channel. All configured and everything and fixed up, but uh, sadly we're having a couple technical User difficulties. User left your channel. We, this is our first time doing a stream since our big move, so we're trying our best. Sorry again. Disconnected. Okay, well we should be good unless somebody gets on and tells us otherwise. So we're gonna go ahead and move on. We just talked about Dongate. It was really garbly. I apologize for all the garbled stuff. We'll be good for next week for sure. Um, moving, right? Everything was great. And then we moved, and now it's all gone to hell. Uh, so let's talk about Dead Island Epidemic. Definitely, um, definitely likes Dead Island Academic. Normally, I'm not a huge zombie theme fan, but Dead Island definitely did some interesting stuff. Dead Island handles like a uh, map click MOBA um, where you move your character around, you have different abilities you can upgrade. And the other cool thing is you can actually upgrade your character from your main menu. You get um, <laughs> weapons you can craft, different abilities you can add on and everything. Um, so it makes it quite unique. Um, you go through, um, as you can see in the video, you are killing zombies with your character. Um, if you play... Um, if you play a 5v5 style map, of course, you'll eventually run into enemies. Or all, there's also a horde style map where you can just go against hordes and zombies and make it to the end and you fight a big boss. And if you uh, finish it in a certain time period, then it will give you different bonuses. And over, I, just, I think it's really cool what they did here. Yeah, overall, it's got some cool concepts. Uh, there's an entirely PvE mode, like she was saying, the horde mode. Uh, which has varying levels of di difficulty. There's also, uh, the PvP is actually a, like a PvPvE because you play against other teams, but there's also zombies that constantly spawn that you have to fight with and fight against. So there's that element thrown in there. There's also weapon crafting. You level your characters uh, both in the match and outside the match. You level your weapons. Uh, and the main PvP mode, which isn't currently available in the beta, um, is supposed to be three teams of 12. So 12 versus 12 versus 12. Wow. The current version they have is three teams of four, so that's still 12 players, three teams. So it's got a unique twist to the PvP aspect. Now, I and a few other people have some beta keys available for giveaway. So if you're interested in the game, just uh, contact Setsuko. Uh, via the forums, the grievance forums, and um, we will uh, try to hook you up with the key. Mm -hmm. so we're going to go ahead and pause that, and we're going to move over, and we're going to talk about Strife. Um, so, Strife, um, pretty happy I finally got to play it the other day. Um, I'd been busy with work, but I'm definitely happy I finally took the time out. Um, Strife is definitely an interesting and quite different game, um, especially the fact that they actually give you a pet in this MOBA to help you out, that levels up with you, that buffs you. And you can buy other pets, of course, but um, like any MOBA, there's a wide uh, array of characters that you can equip. Um, there's a pirate right now. There's um, a healer that shoots plants. There's a cat. There's a, a, cat, a giant cat fuzzy with a cat. Lightning bolt. It's pink with a purple lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. And the big thing about uh, Strife is that they're trying to make it very uh, new player friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, they are getting rid of a lot of points of conflict within a MOBA, such as last hitting. Uh, typically in a MOBA, whoever last hits a minion gets the final blow and a minion gets a gold bonus. Well, in Strife, as long as it's a player that gets the gold bonus, then uh, everybody in the lane shares the gold bonus. So mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, they also have like an out-of-combat region where you can, um, you know, as long as you stay out of combat, you can actually you get an accelerated health and mana region, so mm -hmm. you don't have to always back to your base and stuff like that so it's got a lot of interesting things going on as far as uh being 
very friendly to casual players, new players, uh, while still remaining competitive. Mm, it's got a giant monkey named Cryptos. Yes, it does. <laughs> uh, so, like I said, for these, we, we definitely have squads. There's one more that we have left. That's our dogs. We apologize. Uh, so the last game on the list here is Nazgoth, and Nazgoth is totally different from all the other games on this list. Uh, Nazgoth is a game that's set in the universe of the Legacy of Cain. It's a vampires versus humans. Uh, the way the game works, the deathmatch version, anyway, uh, there's currently two modes. There's a deathmatch and there's a siege. I haven't gotten the chance to play the siege yet, but the deathmatch works like this. You start on your team and you're either playing as the hunters or the vampires. You play a match, a 10 minute match, whoever gets the most kills wins. If someone gets to 30 kills, they automatically win, regardless of the time limit. Mm -hmm. And then you switch teams. So if you were vampires the first time, you'll be humans the second time. And you do the same thing. And at the end of both matches, they add up the kills that you got from those matches, and whoever got the most kills wins. Mm -hmm. So obviously, if your team gets 30 kills both times, you win, because you got the maximum amount of kills. Mm -hmm. And of course, there are some ups and downs whether you play hun uh, humans or vampires, and it's pretty interesting how they put all that together. Yeah, it's it's very intense. It's third person. You've still got a couple of abilities to use and stuff like that. So, once again, all these games we're gonna have squads for. We're working on squads for. We're actively recruiting for. If you're interested, visit grievancegaming.org and um, just hit up the MOBA division forums. And uh, just put your name down there or shoot myself, Satsuko, a message. Or you can shoot Aggie a message. You can see our names <laughs> below. And, uh, you know, we'll hook you up. We'll get you involved. Don't forget MOBA Monday. Uh, next one is this Monday, 7 p.m. Central. And uh, we'll be playing League of Legends. So, doesn't look like we have a Q&A. So, as promised... We have one person on. Do you want to ask a question? <laughs> um, that was my frown. Uh, before we clear out, we just want to once again mention the charity since we had the garbled audio before. That was Operation Supply Drop. Just Google Operation Supply Drop. Click on Donate in the top right. Search for Chad. Click on the only Chad there. And in case some other Chad magically appears, it's Chad Lietenberger or something like that. And uh, then just click on support me, and that will take you to the donation page. Help us reach our goals. And uh, last, I just want to take a couple seconds and promote two new casts that are coming out. Uh, they're being hosted by yours truly. Uh, the first one is called The Lunch Hour, and this cast is on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from noon to 2 p.m. Central. And uh, I'm going to be streaming, I'm going to start out streaming the game Transistor. These are going to be on the GTGN streaming website. So just visit twitch.tv slash GTGN streaming uh, at that time and uh, catch those. The second one is Late Night with Setsuko, which is Fridays and Saturdays, 10.30 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. Central. And I'm going to be streaming uh, Alice Madness Returns. For more details on these casts, you can visit the news and announcements section of our forums. And uh, both those casts start next week. So thank you for tuning in. I'm sorry about the technical difficulties. I'm pretty sure we're good for next week. Mm -hmm. Sorry about the dogs back there uh, and the messy apartment we just moved. Um, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully we catch you at Mumba Monday as well. Indeed. <laughs> Thank you Thank for you. tuning in.